Hey folks, Matt Cootie here. Today I'm going to show you my settings for birds and flights for the A7 III. The A7 III is a faster and more effective birds and flight camera, um, only beaten by the A1 and the A9 series. And it's really the, the fastest, uh, probably the third fastest camera that, that Sony has right now. So without further ado, if we go to the menu on the back of the camera, I'm gonna walk through all the settings here. So first of all, file format. File format needs to be set to raw, okay? You can choose raw and JPEG, JPEG or raw. I just like to shoot raw, it's gonna take up less space, and I can uh, better manipulate that in post-production using Lightroom or uh, Camera Raw. I highly recommend shooting in RAW. The RAW file type, it must be compressed. It must be compressed. I cannot say that enough. It must be compressed. Uh, there are two options. It can be uncompressed or compressed. Now, if I choose uncompressed, it will work, but the buffer will fill up incredibly fast. And so I, I do not recommend using it. So compressed. JPEG quality, if you're using JPEG, fine, large, and the aspect ratio is 3 to 2. It does have APS-C mode, uh, but Super 35 mode, I do not use it on this camera because you end up with, you know, an 8 megapixel file size or something close to that. So uh, with only 24 megapixels, that's not going to work. The next tab, which you just you just use your uh, on the back of your camera, your 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 pad, and you just hit to the right. Um, color space is SRB RGB. That's your standard uh, color space, been used for many many years. <clears throat> if you do want to set it to something different, you can. Uh, Adobe is great as well, um, but I just leave it in SRGB. Uh, and we're shooting raw, so that doesn't really matter that much. Okay, the next tab over. Drive mode, this is essential. Drive mode should be continuous shooting high. There is, let's go through the options. There's uh, high plus. So you're thinking to yourself, wow, but I can shoot in high plus and shoot 10 frames per second. You can, but not a moving subject. It does not keep up. The, the screen does not refresh fast enough to use high plus. So it needs to be set to high, okay? And let's go back to menu. And bracket settings, no. Um, not gonna get into the memory right now. Um, the media is slot one. That's gonna be your fast slot. That's gonna be your type two SD slot. <clears throat> Okay, the next tab over. Um, nothing here. Do, do, do. Now, an A, we're, we're not in AFS, so we don't have to worry about that. We're in AFC, or for continuous. Now, there's a couple things here, and it's really personal preference. If I go into this, I can set it to uh, AF, release, or balanced emphasis. Never mind the top one. You're going to want to use either release or balanced emphasis. If I just shoot, if I choose autofocus, what it will do there is it will only fire when autofocus has a lock, and that causes all kind of problems. Like, um, what you you'll you'll wonder why you're holding down the shutter button and nothing's happening, and it causes you to get off track when you're trying to track the bird. So I stay away from that. I use release because I like my camera to fire whenever I push the button. So it's not going to try to wait for an autofocus lock or anything like that. It's just going to fire. Uh, balanced emphasis is a mix of, of both. So you can have AF and you can have release together. Um, that's a good choice as well. And I have used that, but I have started using release. Focus area. What I am going to tell you to do today is I'm going to tell you to start with wide. 
and there's a couple options here. Um, let's see here. If we go out of here, let's see if I can find it. Okay, so I'm gonna say wide, and he, here's why. Sorry about that. Um, wide, something you have to understand about the Sony cameras. If you come from the Canon world, for example, the wide AF mode in the Canon world was terrible. The only way it worked is if you had a blue sky background and every, you know, a very fast autofocus system. Well, Sony built this camera kind of around the wide focus area. And so I highly recommend using that when you get better, you can use uh, the flexible spot. Um, but really, flexible spot really shouldn't be used what you want is flex expand flexible spot okay or what i am going to recommend and what i do use a lot is either wide center or zone but i'm going to just direct you toward wide okay focus settings nothing there Okay, next tab over, we're going to start getting a lot of uh, differences here. Let's go in here to face eye detect. Okay, for the most part, you're going to want to keep this off for birds in flight because the A7 III does not have uh, bird IAF recognition. However, sometimes animal eye detect does work. Um, it does, but the reality is, um, really you can just turn all this stuff off and, uh, life is good, right? Face detect frame. Yeah. So all that's off. Um, now if, if we were talking about shooting like, you know, um, wolves or you know various types of animals definitely turn animal eye detect on and that's just display there but you definitely want to do that so you do that here in subject detection and you turn it to animal see there's not a third option you see that there's not a third option um, on the a7 III so I'm not sure why I have it set to human at all it should just be on animal anyway even if I'm not using it um next nothing to see there next next tab let's see iso now <clears throat> depending on what you want to do there's multiple ways you can set this up and and the way I'm going to show you is just well, I'm not going to muddy the waters. Let's just let's just continue on. Okay, ISO it could be set to any number of uh, of places, but I like to set mine initially to sixteen hundred. But you could set this to auto. You know, you could set this to auto ISO. Well, look how far up it will go. Isn't that crazy? You could set it to auto. If you're the type of person that really worries about exposure, then you could go auto on that. Um, but I just like to have mine set to something really that I like to have it around a thousand or 800, but for the purposes of this, we'll just say 1600. Okay. Metering mode. Um, I like to have mine set to multi-metering which is the best metering that they have i will also use that that sony has i'll also use spot um and i don't use any kind of highlight metering or any of the others now this highlight metering might be nice for very bright subjects i don't know i've never i've never experimented with it so okay next tab 
spot metering point is saying that the center point is going to be for the center is going to be for spot metering not really that big of a deal here so this is just birds in flight none of this matters weight balance i keep it on auto now with sony's if you don't like the greenish tint that it has um, daylight is often a good choice um, but i just leave mine on auto most of the time i will change that in post as needed okay next tab nothing really to see there for birds in flight nothing to see there for birds in flight now we're going to go through the video stuff i'm not going to put anything in there okay now silent shooting for birds in flight must be off do for the a7 III. do not turn this on if you turn this on you will have distortion because this does not have the amazing shutter that the a9 series have so you must have silent shooting off release without lens i leave that enabled just for testing purposes i do not allow it to fire without a card in there please put this to release with card disable please steady shot settings nothing there that's that's handled with the lens by the way if you have a Sony 2 to 600 for birds in flight. That's all handled through the lens. Okay. Zebra settings. Um, yeah, you can use that kind of thing. It's it's not really. Um, I do leave mine on at, at uh, level 90 on that, but uh, that's you know it's not critical for birds in flight. Rule of thirds. I leave that on for the grid line. Again, not critical birds in flight. Whoops. Um, <clears throat> you can't have auto review on I leave that off I review it as needed so what that does is on the back of your camera if you have this set to on <clears throat> it will review for however many seconds you choose so as soon as you shoot a picture will come up on the back of your screen and it will stay up for two seconds if you have it selected I, I just leave it off um, in here you can set up custom keys now <clears throat> there is there are so many um, possibilities here and I'm not going to pretend to tell you everything here like how I have my custom keys set up and so on and so forth on the a7r3 um, there are some differences but since we're only talking about the a7 III today I'm just not going to worry about custom keys at all not for birds in flight okay next one next one send to smartphone function blah 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 yep don't need any of that Wi-Fi settings don't need any of that don't need Bluetooth mm -hmm. let's just keep going okay don't need that Okay, touch panel pad. It can be touch panel plus pad, touch panel only, or touch pad only. I just leave it on touch panel only. <clears throat> okay, we don't need HDMI. Don't need any of this, I don't think. Do, 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 do. None of this is crucial to birds in flight. Now, this is how I have my menu set up. You, down here at the right, there's you can see here, right here at the right, there's a star menu. And that is used for um, setting up a custom menu. And you can have multiple tabs here. And the way that you do that is you click on add item right here. And then you can add any number of anything that's available you can add in here um, as a as a custom setting and why these are important and I love them is because they're things that you constantly use I have no idea why I have AF micro adjust in here but um, like silent shooting I use that all the time right I want to turn it on and off all the time steady shot I use that all the time 
I have my two to 600 on here right now, so that is grayed out. Formatting cards, I use that all the time. Face I AF set, use it somewhat frequently. Um, focus magnification time, so when you manually focus, um, now this is not birds and flight specific, but I just thought I would throw this in there as a bonus. Uh, this is when you're manually focusing and it zooms in, so it basically does the DMF, direct manual focus. Um, I got it set to no limit. You can set it to five seconds, two seconds, and you get the idea. Cleaning mode. This is when you want to go into cleaning mode for the camera so you can clean off the dust. Control a smartphone. I use that uh, occasionally, uh, but when I, when I need it, I need it then. So that's why it's here. Okay. So that is it in a nutshell. That's all the birds and flight settings. Um, now let's go into function real quick, the function button and we'll go through some of this. So this shows that I have the wide focus area. I've got auto white balance set. I'm starting out with ISO 1600. I've got a metering mode to multi, no flash, no flash compensation, auto white balance is in here twice. I got to take that out. Uh, there's there's no creative style applied. There's no record me. Okay, so that's your basic settings. Um, APS-C mode is off, which I always use off in here. And picture profile is PP5. That's for video. So um, that's it in a nutshell. That is how I have it set up. And you can see that it is trying to focus here. We can see that I'm inside the house right now. So there, I'm looking out the window now all of a sudden. Let's see, maybe I should switch on. <laughs> I got sidetracked here. Let's switch on AF. Woo. Oh, look at it there. Now that's what wide is going to do for you. So I just wanted to show you what wide looks like. Wide is gonna lock and try to stay locked on whatever you're, you're focusing on so there it, it's it's whatever it grabs right let me see if i can find something out there that's all trees stupid thing okay so yeah you can see it's just i call it the dancing green lights and if you look down in the lower left corner of the screen when you see that that means you're locked on that when you see that that green thing see it go off now and it's back on i'm focusing and it goes off you're locked. You're locked. And it's trying to stay locked. See that? It's trying to stay locked. So that's just a little bonus of what that would look like. That's really all I had for today. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye-bye.